Good morning, church. Pastor Linda here from Bethel Thetford. Today is Monday, July the 27th, and it is 10.42 a.m. This is the day that the Lord has made. Let us rejoice and be glad today. Philippians 4, verses 6 and 7 says, Don't worry about anything. Instead, pray about everything. Tell God what you need and thank Him for what He has done. And then you will experience God's peace that passes anything that you could ever understand. And His peace will guard your hearts and your minds as you live in Christ Jesus. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for giving us another day. A day that we can dedicate to you, Lord. A day that we can reach out and be your hands and your feet. A day that we can help where we can. We ask, Lord, that you fill us with compassion, with love, with understanding. Help us, Lord, when we deal with other people. Help us to realize that they're your children as well. And help us to do your will, not ours, in all that we do. In Jesus' name, amen. Well, you know, there's um, another verse that I've been using every day, and that's Luke 10, 27. It says, you shall love the Lord your God with all your heart, with all your soul, with all your strength, and with all your mind, and love your neighbor as yourself. And that's something that we need to do each and every day in order to be successful in this life. Life can be difficult enough without... Uh, battling with the Lord and trying to do what we want to do instead of what uh, he has made us to do. Well, I checked the weather network this morning and it looks like we're going to end up having a thunderstorm this afternoon. Actually, I thought we were going to have something earlier because the wind really picked up, but it settled down a little bit. The temperature is 25 degrees Celsius out and uh, it it's, feels like it's in the 30s. It's quite humid. The uh, high today is to be 29, and it's going to feel like it's 40. And if you're into the old uh, Fahrenheit format, that uh, translates to 104 degrees Fahrenheit. Now, um, the weather network is showing around 2 o'clock that uh, thunderstorms may start. It doesn't say they will, but it says they may. Its uh, probability of precipitation is 40%. Tonight, it's to go down to 20 degrees, and that's still going to be quite warm and humid. And we continue to have the risk of thunder showers through the night. And again, it's only at 40%, so it may or may not hit. It uh, is probably another day that people will be going to the beaches. And if you're doing that, then make sure you follow the uh, protocol in order to stay safe. Proverbs 3, verses 5 and 6, this is New Living Translation, says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart. Do not depend on your own understanding. Seek his will in all that you do, and he'll show you which path to take. For those that prefer King James, it says, Trust in the Lord with all your heart, and lean not on your own understanding. And in all your ways acknowledge him, and he will direct your paths. And that's what we want. We want God to direct our path. We want him to be with us in everything that we do and everything that we say. And remember, he knows what you're going to say before you say it, and he knows what you're thinking. Our um, COVID reports, Sonia Lampton for today. This is all um, really starting to get up there. Um, and, you know, Lantern Shores had uh, stayed really low for a long time. Well, now the confirmed cases are at 295. That's two more than yesterday. Deaths remain at 25, thank you, Jesus. And the confirmed cases are at uh, 261. Now, the active cases in uh, Sonia Lampton is up to nine. So... And I know it's uh, mainly because of so many people out and about. And throughout uh, Sarnia Lampton, there's a fair number of beaches that people go to. So um, 
with moving into phase three, well, even before phase three, that people were getting a little stir crazy and they needed to be getting out and feeling they were alive and um, forgot to stop and remember the safety protocols of staying far enough apart, six feet apart from each other, wearing face masks, proper hygiene, proper hand hygiene, so many things to remember, but it's all for our own safety. So if we want to keep those numbers down and get these numbers back down, we're going to have to do some work. Now, most areas uh, around here have been plagued with uh, the damage and the mess of the gypsy moth this past spring and into the summer. Well, now it's time to start checking your trees because I've read that uh, there have been some egg masses um, seen on the, uh, on the trunks of the trees. So if you check your trees uh, and you see these egg sacs, scrape them off the bark and either burn them or put them into soapy water and that'll destroy them. And we've noticed when we've been driving around that the tent caterpillars have once again set up residence in the area. So it's just another predator that needs to be addressed. Now the Ontario report confirmed cases 38,799. That's 119 more than yesterday. And we're thankful that those numbers are going down. Again, it's because the, of the beaches in this area that it's gone up, I'm sure. The uh, deaths, there's one more had passed away. It's up to um, 2,764 for Ontario. Confirmed cases recovered 34,461. There's 82 in the hospital, 30 in ICU, 18 on ventilators. The active cases are at 1,574. The uh, Canada report, um, the confirmed case is 113,911. That's 355 more than yesterday. Deaths are up to 8,890. That's five more than yesterday. The uh, recovered is 99,355 active cases, 5,666. Now, you know that we're on the uh, road to recovery because uh, there aren't um, a lot of reports out there anymore on what uh, needs to be done. There's uh, reports, of course, on uh, different programming and where the country stands, etc. But uh, nothing as far as the Department of Health goes. So everything must be on the right track. Now the U.S. Uh, counts, and as you're aware, I put this in, started using it uh, daily just as a uh, reference point so that you can see how well we're actually doing. The confirmed cases in the U.S. is 4,371,000. 839, and that was 56,130 more than yesterday. The deaths, 149,849. Confirmed recovered, 2,090,129. Leaving the active cases at 2,131,861. This, uh, virus, pandemic, it is still out there and we need to be very diligent in what we do. We want to make sure that it doesn't take over here again. And as you can see from the numbers um, with the United States, which is our very close neighbors, remember, but we can see that the potential is there for it to be disastrous again. And we don't want that. And if you check the world meter, you'll see that other countries are having a terrible time with it still. And the numbers keep going up. So be thankful for where you're living. Be thankful for the leaders that we have. And pay attention to what you do. Because it wouldn't take much for ours to turn around either.
and that is something that we want to avoid at all costs. We want our schools to be able to open up safely. We want, uh, we want to be safe, and we all want to be healthy. Scripture today, Psalm 139, and I'm only, um, oh, how far am I going? Verse 12, I think. Yes. Uh, it'll be verses 1 to 12. There's 24 verses in that chapter. We'll finish it off next, well, tomorrow. So starting at verse 1, O Lord, you have examined my heart and know everything about me. You know when I sit down and stand up. You know my thoughts even when I'm far away. You see me when I travel and when I rest at home. You know everything I do. You know what I'm going to say before I even say it, Lord. You go before me and follow me. You place your hand of blessing on my head. Such knowledge is too wonderful for me, too great for me to understand. I can never escape from your spirit. I can never get away from your presence. If I go up to heaven, you are there. If I go down to the grave, you are there. If I ride the wings of the morning, if I dwell by the farthest oceans, even there your hand will guide me and your strength will support me. I could ask the darkness to hide me and the light around me to become night, but even in the darkness I cannot hide from you. To you the night shines as bright as day. Darkness and light are the same to you. Praise God. Thank you for your word. First Timothy 2, 1 to 6 says, I urge you first of all to pray for all people, asking God to help them intercede on their behalf and give thanks for them. Pray this way for kings and all who are in authority so that we can live peaceful and quiet lives marked by godliness and dignity. This is good and pleases God our Savior who wants everyone to be saved and to understand the truth. For there is one God and one mediator who can reconcile God and humanity, the man Christ Jesus. He gave his life to purchase freedom for everyone. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, we thank you for being with us, for being with us at all times. We thank you, Lord, that you know us right to the depth of our being. You know what's in our heart. You know what's in our minds. And you know before we even speak what we're going to say. I ask, Lord, that you use us Use us to do your will, Lord. Help us, Lord, to be obedient. Help us to be thoughtful. Fill us with your love and your compassion, Lord. And Lord, we lift up our leaders to you and ask that you bless them. Bless their advisors as well. Help them to continue to be in your will. And we pray, Lord, that this virus the COVID-19 is completely eradicated here, that the schools are able to open safely, that the children are going to be able to have some normalcy come back into their lives. And I pray, Lord, that even though many of the churches still aren't open in the buildings, that the people who are the church are open to your word and are open to reaching out to others. The church buildings may be closed, but your word continues to march forward, and your word is truth, and your word is where life is. I ask, Lord, that you continue to be with each and every one of us. Strengthen us, Lord. Use us. In Jesus' name, amen. Amen. Ephesians 4.3 says you are joined together with peace through the Spirit, so make every effort to continue together in this way. Depend on the word of the Lord, because that's where your strength is going to come from. And that's where your boldness is going to come from as well. Isaiah 41.10 says, Don't worry, because I am with you. Don't be afraid. I am your God. I will make you strong and help you. I will support you with my right hand that saves you. Continue to hold each other up in prayer as well. And remember that we're, we all may be walking this journey but we're walking it differently. We all have different experiences and we'll all have a different story to tell. And stop and remember that just because 
today is your story and you know what you're experiencing that everybody else understands as well. They don't. Be patient. Be kind. Be gentle in all that you do. Um, the one thing I've started today, I've, um, I use the, um, through the Bible in a year, New Living Translation, and I use the chrono chrono <laughs> tongue -tied, chronological order. Um, so I've started recording that, and today is uh, day 209. So I've um, recorded it, and I've put it online. If you don't have time to read the Bible yourself, or if you don't have access to a version that you want, check it out. It'll be on uh, Bethel Thedford site, or um, I've done it to the YouTube, so you can even access it on, on the uh, TV. Just go into the YouTube if you've got a smart TV, and you'll be able to access it there. God bless each and every one of you, and may God be with you until we meet again.